Battling homelessness first at 10 and Independence County community is working to address an increase in those without a home. Didn't have any problems to start getting cold at night. Now they're coming out here. We found Camp Campbell soup cans and you know, warming herself by the fire. The city of Batesville has seen an increase in its homeless population recently with several people sleeping on the streets. Good evening and thanks for being here. I'm Chris Carter. The mayor of the city said there have been groups trying to start a homeless shelter, but really nothing has worked out. City leaders said there are several areas where the homeless gather. Hayden Savage has more on the homeless situation. It is our top story. On this piece of property owned by the city of Batesville, a group of people have started calling it home and the number of homeless who sleep here at night have increased. As a landowner and property owners and and, and um, having, you know, right here where they're at, we we are worried about it. But not only does it cause worry, but also fear for their fellow neighbor. I feel sorry for some of the homeless people um, uh, and I've never been in that situation. The city of Batesville said in the last 10 years, the number of homeless individuals has risen. Mayor Rick Ellenbaugh explained there are spots all over town, but one of the more prevalent locations is just a short distance from City Hall. One area is uh, the Polk Bio. It's uh, very close to Main Street. It's, uh, I guess it's accommodating for them. In my understanding, there's probably 10 to 11 individuals. The Polk Bayou area has been deemed as a park by the city of Batesville which means the area is closed from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m., which allows the city to ask the homeless to relocate. Landowner Richard Tuggle owns property just a short walk away from the Polk Bayou area. He said he's found homeless sleeping in his bushes, starting a fire in his backyard, among other things. We didn't have any problems to start getting cold at night. Now they're coming out here. We found Camp Campbell soup cans and you know, warming herself by the fire. Tuggle explained in those instances, he's called the police, but until they have a place to go, it's an issue that will likely continue. We've we've contacted the Baseball Police Department and and they've been real good to come out, but they can't they can't keep somebody here all the time. But with the population growing and no real resources available to help those in need, he's worried about what will happen to his property. Anybody that lives up and down this is a little bit worried about not at night and well, matter of fact, during the day you'll see them walking up and down the streets. Mayor Ellen Boss said for years organizations have been trying to organize something like a homeless shelter, but it's always fallen through. In the past, there has been a community enrichment uh, organization, uh, which I'm a part of and uh, they have actually uh, tried to move forward with a homeless shelter, but it's always a, a challenge when it comes up with zoning. In Batesville, Hayden Savage, K8 News. The Department of Housing and Urban Development reported around 582,000 Americans were experiencing homelessness in 2022. That's up 2,000 people from 2020.